Hello again, everybody. Welcome to this educational video series on the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation. Right now, we are going to continue our uh, exploration of the controlling track effects subject under Reaper. Track effects, of course, uh, are a very powerful part of this program. When you get the program, a lot of effects actually come with it that are absolutely studio quality stuff. And of course, normal uh, VSTs and DXs and DXIs and VSTIs are supported in Reaper. But uh, what we're going to look at right now is we're going to take a look at how we can um, move effects from one track to another. So let's actually get some effects up on the uh, vocal track here. Actually, we already have one. We have a reverb going, so let's take a listen to that. Sleep, my child, and peace attend thee. We're muting that there. Or bypassing, night. rather. Sleep, now, if I want the... Uh, if I want this reverb not on this track, but I want it moved over to, say, for example, the bazooki track. Let's clear that out. All we have to do is we hold down Alt-Shift and we drag the effects from the source track window to uh, drop it on the effects button of the target track. So let's try that. We're going to hold down Alt-Shift. And that moved the track, uh, that moved the reverb directly from uh, the Vox. As you can see, there is no uh, reverb on the vocal any longer, but now there is reverb on the bazooki. And it's the exact same reverb, and it's the same settings as well. Now, in order to bypass an effect, all you have to do is you untick the checkbox to the left of the effects name within the track effects window. So, we showed you how to do that before. In order to get rid of effects, you simply select the effect name from the track effects window and click on remove. There's also a remove button down here. Now to save the current sequence, we're going to undo that. To save the current sequence of track effects as a chain, in this window you choose the effects, save effects chain command. So let's uh, actually create a quick chain here. We'll add, uh, I don't know. Make it sound pretty awful, actually. <laughs> All right, now let's say that we like this chain. We're going to save it as a chain. And into the FX chains subdirectory uh, goes this uh, chain saved state. And of course, you probably should point this to uh, a location that uh, is uh, that fits your working patterns better than uh, what uh, Reverb's uh, re uh, sorry, what uh, <laughs> Reaper's idea of uh, a good location for this information would be. You can also um, make the current track effects the default for new tracks. So within the, in other words, if you wanted to uh, create a bunch of new tracks that had these, that had this chain of processing on them, then within the track effects window, you choose effects and save uh, chain as default for new tracks. And that's not something that I want to do right now, but it is a helpful uh, a trick to save yourself some time when you are setting up uh, various uh, effects processing. If you wanted to access the effects preferences settings within the track effects window, just choose the options and effects plugin settings command. And there they are. This will zoom you straight into the preferences uh, window and uh, avoid you having to go hunting around up here for the right drop down window. And of course, to bypass for all, all effects for a track, in the track control panel, click on the effects enable disable toggle button and then click again to reverse this. That is simply this blue button right here. Turn off the effects. Where exactly is it here? In the track control panel. Close these up. And there is the bypass button right there. And as you can see, that puts a red slash through the effects. 
So that is just still not the entire picture, but uh, a good uh, uh, a good collection of uh, tricks on how to control your effects under Reaper. Keep your eyes on GearWire.com in the future for more cool videos. Thanks for watching.